Hey, Donovan Keith here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate interior scenes, which can be a little bit challenging inside of Cinema 4D if you're unfamiliar with it. So uh, to begin, we're going to open up this staircase scene available in the Assets Browser. So I'm just going to open a new scene, uh, open up my Assets Browser here, and I'm going to search for a staircase. And uh, this scene right here is the one that I want. Here, I'll uh, sort of zoom in so you can see it a little bit easier. St staircase Room 01. And double click to download and open that. Yours might take a little bit longer because I already have this uh, downloaded. And then I'm going to turn off my um, assets browser here. And uh, the first thing that I noticed when I opened this is that my view layout is different from what I'm used to. So I did my usual trick of clicking on standard um, and that only reset my layout. It didn't actually reset this viewport. So the view settings here are stored on a per project basis. So we can fix this by going to panel arrangement and I'm going to return to the typical four views arrangement and so this will feel a little bit more familiar and then I'm going to go into this view here um, by middle mouse clicking or by clicking on this icon right here to make it my uh, my primary viewport so if you're trying to navigate a scene like this uh, the first thing you might do is try and use your pan or your dolly or your rotate commands to to get in here and manipulate this but uh, at least for me, nothing's happening. And what that usually means is somewhere in your scene, and I'm just doing a little bit of investigation here, is a camera that is your current camera, but it's got something called a protection tag on it. And this protection tag is locking your position, rotation, and scale to prevent you from getting, uh, or from messing up your final render view. So I'm gonna respect that this is the composition that the creator wanted, so I'm just gonna add a new camera to my scene. So by adding a new camera object, I can now look through it and nothing has changed. So this icon right here allows you to look through a given camera or not. And if you're not looking through any camera, you're just looking in your uh, so-called editor view. So this is what you can use to just navigate your scene without messing up your render. And then this final camera view is your sort of render camera. So um, navigating interiors is a little bit more challenging than some other things because you've just got sort of finite space. So I'm going to use my one, two, three key. So one for pan, two for dolly, and three for rotate or orbit. So what we find out almost immediately is when we're using the pan, that we are slipping out of the wall of our scene. So um, that's just probably going to keep happening. Uh, but what we can do is adjust our camera to make it a little bit friendlier for working in an interior environments. So we're going to use the same trick that a lot of uh, folks in uh, real estate use, which is to use a wider angle lens. So I'm going to right click and drag on this uh, scale or rather dolly parameter. And what it's going to do is uh, zoom, rather change the focal length of my lens to something wider, which is going to allow me to now rotate around my view. And as I'm sort of spinning and rotating. I'm not spinning and rotating quite as far. So that's really the main trick is just to, to try and stay within the room. And then when you're navigating, uh, hold Alt or Option and click on a point that you want to rotate or orbit around. This is <laughs> making me a little seasick on this thing. So I'm going to I'm gonna adjust my focal length here to something a little more like a 35 millimeter. Um, and I just want to click on near objects to pivot around. I don't want to click on something too far away. Because when I'm clicking on something far away, I'm, I'm rotating and moving in much larger distances. So to find this book, for example, uh, it's also helpful to just select it, tap the S key, something like that to get framed up on it. Um, tapping the H key, for example, like uh, is normally sort of a happy home. But what this does for me is it actually takes me outside of the view. So what you can try and do is find like an open entrance. Use that to alt or option click on some part in here and then navigate inside. Or if you're really lost, you might do like a, a frame default or a frame all. And then you can actually go into your four way view and you can grab your camera and just shove it inside of the building roughly where you want to be looking around. And you can even use your rotate tools and so forth to play around with it. And so now we are sort of rotating and orbiting inside of this view. Now, I believe there's also, um, Another tool, I, I don't uh, honestly remember how to use it. It's the uh, camera navigation mode. And that's the one. So you can change from cursor mode, which is pivoting around um, what you're sort of looking at to a camera mode, which is 
just sort of rotating around the, the camera itself. So this is more of a first person perspective and you can dolly in, rotate around. And this is gonna be a little bit more like walking through the space. So I'm just sort of dollying, rotating, dollying, rotating, and, and actually <laughs> come to find out, this is a great way to navigate a tight space. Um, you know, these spaces were built for humans, so we'll just sort of walk around like we are one. Yeah, I would I would really struggle to do this with any other uh, navigation mode, so I'm glad that I just found this. All right, so um, that's the trick. If you want to go back to the normal navigation mode, go to cursor mode. So uh, to review, um, if you find yourself in a scene with a locked camera, just spawn a new camera by choosing to add a camera. Look through that camera, navigate around. Place your camera in the 3D views if all else fails, right? Just move it where you really want it to be. And uh, click on near objects rather than far objects. You're more likely to stay inside that way. And last but not least, uh, in your camera's navigation, you can change to camera mode, which is going to allow you to pivot around your current camera. Just uh, remember to turn that back to cursor because it's probably going to confuse you if you're not familiar with it. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good one.